I wanted to go over a really quick, simple, but important cinematography concept. And that is the idea of wrapping light around the person's face, around the subject's face. The idea of a uh, light wrap, uh, usually this, this applies to when you're outside in direct sunlight. Uh, the idea is to use existing light or adding a light to wrap the existing light into your subject's face. Does that make sense? Hang on. Okay, to explain it like you're five, it looks like this. Okay, so pretend we're gonna get take this plastic wrap. Oh my God, this thing is broken. Nice. Here's the plastic wrap, okay? Pretend this is light. This is, this is light visualized right here, okay? The idea of a light wrap is to take existing light. So let's let's take a look at this window light that's coming in through the window right here off to my left side. So we're gonna take that light and we're going to take it and introduce a second light to try and wrap the light around my face like this. Okay, that's all we're doing. That's all, the, the whole idea of a light wrap is to literally take light uh, that is ex existing inside your space, ambient light or light that you have introduced yourself that you have turned on to light up the space and then use a second light to wrap the light across your face. Now, how far across your face and how bright the light is is really determined by the story, uh, you know, your, your taste, the aesthetic, um, all sorts of things determine you know, how bright and how uh, much the wrapping occurs. So if you don't want the light to wrap this much around your face, which probably won't look that good. Oh, 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 oh I sucked it in. You would wrap it like maybe like this, maybe like halfway across your face like this, or maybe a little bit more like this. So that's the idea of a light wrap is to get the light that's already existing in this case right here, the sunlight, the window light right here, that's coming in through the window and just like introducing a different light and just having it wrap across the front of my face. And when you get the mixture right of ambient light mixed in with whatever key light you're wrapping in around your face, it looks really natural and it looks really pleasing. So I recently shot a really quick skit video that you guys will see in an upcoming video. So in the skit video, I have a bunch of light that's coming in through the window that I set up myself and that's, I have light blasting right through the window off to my right side of my face. This is gonna be the quote unquote sunlight that is coming in through the windows. And now I need to introduce a light in the scene in order to get that wrapping action going on across my face so that my face isn't as dark as it is right now. So what I have is the Colbor W100. It's a really small little light and I have a soft box for it. And I'm using this power grip so I don't actually have to plug it into the wall, which is really convenient because I can just set this light up really fast. I don't have to worry about running any power cords or any extension cables in order to light this light up. Now getting the right angle of this light is really important for making the light naturally wrapping across my face and it looks good. So having it being so small and being so light and portable is really useful because I'm just able to quickly just like shift the light around, make little micro adjustments if needed really quickly. And the power grip actually powers up the light for a surprising uh, amount of time. Even though I was at like 30, 40% the whole time because I don't need the full output of a 100 watt light. The light will look way too blown out if I set it to anything higher than like 30%. The color temperature of the W100 was set to around 55, 5600 Kelvin. Every light outside was also set to like 56, 55 Kelvin. The camera was set to about like 4800 Kelvin. That's what looked really good for me, like the most natural for me. Okay, but that's it for this video. Uh, it's a really quick one, really simple one. Really wanted to show you that technique that I've been using. It's it's been really helping me get better looking shots. So hopefully it helps you too. Let me know if you have any other questions down below in the comments and then check out the Cobra W100 light. So until next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later, bye.